in our previous video we saw a very shallow uh, autoencoder where we had just one input layer this was uh, 784 nodes in our case because we were working with mnist handwritten data set which is 28 cross 28 images and if you multiply 28 cross 28 you will get 784 so we have 784 pixels in this and this is a grayscale single channel image so we unrolled it to 784 cross 1 so this formed our input layer which we shrunk to 64 so this was our bottleneck layer and then we decoded it back to the original size that is 784 so in this case we will go further so this this was 28 cross 28 if you don't understand what we are talking about and this was the generated 28 cross 28 and this middle layer we kept it as 64 cross 1 and this in the previous example it was 784 cross 1 and we had just single layer here you can see so it's a very shallow network and perhaps the simplest uh, auto encoder where we had just single layer we reached bottleneck layer and we decoded it back to original size so in this case we will add a few more layers so our first layer the input layer will have against 784 pixels and then we will shrink it to 256 and these will be connected among themselves and then we will shrink it further to 128 and then finally 64 so obviously these are not drawn to scale and then this will form our encoder part and then we will decode it further to again 128 then 256 and then finally 784 the original and we will reshape it back to 28 cross 28 so essentially this is the bottleneck layer and the network will try to capture the most important information within this 64 uh, neurons so the information that was earlier contained in 784 neurons is now embedded in this small bottleneck layer and then this decoder decodes it back to original size and our loss function is such that we compare the input and output and we target it to be as close as, as possible so that the network learns to embed the most important information in very few neurons so it's a data compression technique so let's begin so this was our earlier uh, notebook so this will remain the same only thing is that we will add a few layers here so earlier we had just one encoded so let's uh, make it 256 then 128 and finally 64 and the input of this will be the previous encoded layer so whatever is the input output of this and then again encoded so now we have encoded it to 64 uh, neurons starting from 784 now we need to decode so we will add a few layers for decoding it and this is our bottleneck layer now here it will be 128 same as this one and then 256 and then finally 784 and the input of this layer is the output of previous that is encoded and it will apply this on previous output that is decoded and again decoded and these will be ReLU activations we will apply sigmoid only in the end and now let's run it so there is some error so it says uh, input 0 incompatible it expects value 256 got none 64 and the error is in this line decoder 
so earlier in our last video we had a shallow network where we had just uh, one layer of decoding so if we did minus one we reached here the bottleneck layer which was 64 neurons now we have a few more of those so if we do minus one we reach 256 so it expect 256 so we need to do minus three and then feed it to this minus two then minus one so we need to modify our code a bit so we will have a few of these and let's make it minus three then minus two and here we can put this input encoded and then here and uh, now uh, we should not require this one and now let's run it so it seems fine let's run it further load the data set and then fit it so it will run for 50 epochs and it will take uh, more time than in our previous case because earlier we had a shallow network so i will pause it and resume when uh, this finishes 50 epochs so now it's in the last epoch and the errors seem to to be converging and now it has completed 50 epochs and this is our output with our deep autoencoder and again uh, there seems to be some uh, blurriness around the edges and that is expected because we are compressing the data by around uh, 784 to 64 so that's roughly more, more than 12 times uh, but uh, that is the essence of autoencoder hope you enjoyed it in the further videos we will see more variants of autoencoder so see you in the next video